Well, it is officially award show season here at Us Weekly. I'm Travis Cronin, and I couldn't pick two better people to help us break down last night's Golden Globes. We have our own beauty and style guru, Maven, Robin Merritt, Hi. and we have the iconic Melissa Rivers, who is a red carpet expert, TV producer, podcaster. And during her free time, she was also a New York Times best-selling author. Hello, Melissa. Hello. We all have so to seem to have a theme. Yes, we do. We're in mourning. Yes, I guess. <laughs> yeah. We're all in black. We're, we're all, all in black. black today. Which was a big color last night. It was a big color last night. Now, what were your thoughts overall of the show? I know you watched with some friends last yes. night. Overall. Thoughts. Um, it was fine. <laughs> <laughs> it was just fine. It was good. Um, I felt like there were a bunch of very specific trends that kind of just like kept repeating themselves. Corsetry. And corsetry, <laughs> um, black, silver, red, red, mm -hmm. and a lot of see through and sheer. Maybe on some people that should not be doing this trend. <laughs> but also, I don't know if you saw this, very clean hair, makeup, none yes. of that beachy, whatever. No wet hair looks. No wet hair. And also, important jewels. Mm -hmm. The important jewels were shining last night. Yes, they were. What were your thoughts, thoughts on host Joe Coy? I think he got short tripped and no love and that was not justified um anyone who knows these shows knows that the hosts prep for months and they have a team of writers he only got hired 10 days ago and also i think the room and sometimes you can feel that and i think because he was an unknown mm -hmm. to a lot of them decide they're not going to laugh Mm. Yeah, the room did not seem to be with yeah. him last night, no. even from the jump. Yeah, and a lot of the material was, I wouldn't say his strongest, but was strong enough that it should have gotten laughs and no one was insulted. No one was insulted. The Oppenheimer line I thought was very funny. Um, I mean, I just think the room decided they weren't going to have fun. They did. It was a sedated crowd. I think Taylor Swift was the most sort of aggressive, yeah. didn't like the joke that didn't really seem to be about her, it seemed to be more about the NFL. Right. Than it totally was about the NFL. And it was actually a great reference because every football fan has gotten so oversaturated. Yes. Because even the NFL on Instagram was like, Taylor Swift has arrived at the stadium. <laughs> and I love that she's happy. I love that she's got this. I don't know if it's like living out the high school fantasy that she didn't ever have and dating the quarterback. And they seem really happy. So happy. And I think they're gonna get married. I mean, like, Me too. I, Me too. but it's also, mm -hmm. I keep saying, the first time she's dated a man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not a boy that looks like a Victorian with consumption. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Right. 13th century dolls right. before that. And he's a man and you know he is just. He shows it. And he's, you know he's throwing her around. <laughs> yeah. And if you look up, my friend of mine did this sort of July when they first started dating and she was on tour. That girl's moving differently. Oh, mm -hmm. she's got a glow. No, but she's those hips are moving different. <laughs> you say she's walking funny. No, she's walking great. She's walking <laughs> like mm-hmm. She owns everything now. And yeah. She's got that beard too. But he's just it's it's um, and I think it's wonderful mm -hmm. for her. But you can't be it was such an innocuous joke. Right. All she had to do, by the way, was go. Yeah, I think because she reacted so strongly, then everyone decided like, okay, we're not laughing at this. Yeah, which is, it's so annoying. And especially coming from A, being funny, I don't call myself a comedian, but coming from that family, you want to say to people, oh, come on, play along. Mm -hmm. Right. And so there was nothing rude. You're right, he didn't step over the line and yeah. they weren't giving him the benefit of the doubt or having fun. Yeah. No, there was, it was not fun. No. And the globes are supposed to be the most fun. You're supposed to get drunk. You're That's supposed to it. The be globes kitchen. were always my favorite, always my mom's favorite, because it was a party. It was early enough in the year that people have just gone back to work. Nobody hates each other yet. You know what I mean? <laughs> and it's it's the fun one. Mm -hmm. And it was just like 
it was Oscars stiff a little bit last night. Yeah. Well, I think people had a little bit more fun on the red carpet than they did inside mm -hmm. a little bit. Let's go through Melissa because you've been on a lot of these red carpets. Yeah. Uh, who were your best dressed? Okay, again, I thought it was fine. There was nothing that I went, <gasps> I want to wear that. I mean, we have some reigning queens who continuously bring it. Let's start with Helen Mirren. Oh, yeah. God. Dolce & Gabbana. And she knows how to work a dress. She had that coat moving. Yep. Mm -hmm. She had the Very jewels. Whimsical. Just, you know. She gets it. She gets it. Mm -hmm. Another yeah. one that always gets it. Dolce & Gabbana had a big night. Huge night. Angela Bassett. Okay, mm -hmm. here's what I always think about Angela Bassett. It's like everyone's on the carpet and having fun and da da da. Look at my dress, look at my dress. And then she arrives and she goes, Oh, children, you all <laughs> look so nice. Now let me show you a movie star. Yes. She's a movie star and she always has that sort of over the top camp but regal mm -hmm. energy. Yeah, but. And just like you just want to bow down. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. She you wants, want to say, yeah. oh, oh, don't the rest of you look sweet? Yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? And she walks in and it's like, this is what a movie star does. Absolutely. She looked good. Well, the lady of the evening at <laughs> every Swift. event. Yes. I got to love that in a sea of basically black, she came in green. This was Gucci. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Love the green. She had this trend that I, I don't want to say fell, fall victim to, mm -hmm. but most of the women did, where I felt like nobody's tops fit. Mm, yeah. And it was, but now I think it's obviously a trend, but I just keep saying it was boobalicious. Yeah. Like, the globes are usually more boob heavy. But of, this uh... was, everybody's boobs were jacked up to their chin and like all the cups were too small. Mm -hmm. Every, I mean, saloon girl, like, sort of. Yeah, I feel like they were spilling out. Yes, and I, I can't deal with when I'm looking at someone and the dress makes me nervous. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. I'm like, oh god, she's gonna fall out. Oh god, she's gonna <laughs> yeah. fall. Out. And all that tape, <clears throat> all that was oh. working overtime last night. Yeah, there was a lot of duct. Shout out to the duct tape for yes. the evening <laughs> for doing a lot but of these the persons. color on her. It was very lively was spectacular. Mm -hmm. And yeah, in a sea of boring Taylor Swift, yes. thank you for making us at least see mm -hmm. something. And the back of it was beautiful. Yes. The it, back was yeah. cool. Yeah, it's, Gucci does a good job. It yes. fit her really nice. Yeah. It does. Who next? Jennifer Lawrence, Dior. Again, I felt like the elegance ruled. Mm. I love her hair and makeup. Yeah. I think she looks like one of the most beautiful people in the world. Do I love that dress so much? Yeah. yeah. Unpopular opinion. I just I just wanted a little bit more. Just a little bit. I thought it was the hair and makeup though. Hi. Yeah. But yeah. she had on jewelry. Yeah. 18 and, karat Tiffany. Yep. And I love the simplicity. Mm. I love again every woman that I found I really liked on the carpet went for elegance. Glamour, elegance. Yeah. There's a lot of old Hollywood glam. Yes, in J. very Lodge much so. Too. Yes. Well, let's move on to Greta. This, I think, may have been my favorite of the night. You would look good in that. Yeah. Lueve. Mm -hmm. Didn't love the color, but the dress itself is spectacular. The fit the high neck and you turn around and it's got that amazing draping in the back. Like a flower. It's sexy but not in your face. I thought this is the dress I would want to wear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is a Globes dress. It, this is, it reminds me of like a glass of champagne. Just like elegance <laughs> and yes. fun and nice but still I, timeless. And didn't expect it. Right. Not sure I would love the color but I always look and say what dress would I want to wear? That one. I can and see that. the tailoring is perfection. Lueve Always. knows their shapes. Okay. Let's move on to one of the dudes you liked, <laughs> who uh, might have been one of those Victorian children you were talking about yeah. that Taylor Swift used to date, <laughs> yes. Timothy Chalamet. Okay, there's a backstory to this. Okay. I can't stand, unless you are Lenny Kravitz mm -hmm. or Harry Styles, wear a shirt at these events. These are black tie events, and I don't think what people understand 
is all the crews, all the guys pulling cable, mm -hmm. have to be in black tie. Mm -hmm. Wear an effing shirt. This isn't the VMAs, <laughs> this isn't the Grammys, it's the Globes. It's yes. the Globes. And I'm like, he is so, like, never wears a shirt. Mm -hmm. When I saw him show up with a shirt, I almost cried. <laughs> <laughs> I w and he looks fantastic. He does, yeah. And he still looks fashion forward. Mm -hmm. And he still looks young and cool. Has his shirt on? I don't see much of a shirt. It's, it's unbuttoned. unbuttoned. It's unbuttoned. It's unbuttoned. Okay. But I was just like, he's obviously been listening to yes. me. Yes. <laughs> he, but he's another one who gets it. Yeah, but he's, that's, if you're a man and you want to be fashion forward and not just traditional, he here did it well, but I don't know if you noticed, not only were a number of men going back to very traditional, you either have to wear studs or have a covered button placket. I love mm -hmm. a button cover. Yeah, Orlando Bloom, button cover. Leo, button cover. And I thought, wow. That's lovely. Mm -hmm. It is, and I would say that Timothy had one of the biggest moments of the night kissing, kissing Kylie, Kylie Jenner on the fan cam. <laughs> yeah. And if that's what we're talking about, that's pretty sad. Yeah, but but it, I thought he nailed the hip, young, but still appropriate. Definitely. And of course, Lenny Kravitz is just perfect, so there yeah. you go. <laughs> Will never not be perfect. No. Well, let's move on. Who are your favorite best? Who is your number one best dressed of the night? Oh, America Ferreira. I just thought she looked absolutely beautiful. Her dress, she's wearing Dolce & Gabbana. Dolce had a huge, huge night. night. Expensive night. Yes, but right. especially <laughs> since they were outcast for the past couple of years. Right. Yeah. right, yeah. It was just so flattering, and I feel like ever since the Barbie tour, she's been kind of showing us like her fashion girly side, mm -hmm. and this is a great continuation of that. She looked absolutely stunning so like snatched and beautiful. I love, that was my favorite. And the Absolutely hair and makeup, favorite. all of them clean, simple. Yeah. Yeah, Maybe. yeah. Um, Divine Joy, I mean, look at her. This is Redarte. It is gorgeous. I, again, the cop that's running over a lot, but, you but I'm not afraid. Me, that didn't make you nervous when she stood up and one came flying? Yes, I saw when she stood up and one boob went flying. I was concerned, but <laughs> I still, I enjoyed the dress so much. I love Redarte. I love how they do a glitter, a shimmer. I thought the peplum was so gorgeous. There's a train in the back it just felt very golden globes to me do i wish the breasts had more um care support, support. <laughs> they're supported but they're <laughs> guarded you know they're supported it needed lifted. a stronger and more cut Oh, you're right. Yeah. It needed more cup in there. More cup was in there. Was it strapless? Yes. Okay. Very strapless. Oh, the girls. The girls wanted to be on the carpet too. <laughs> yes, they were. Uh, they were earrings. Well, I saw them. At that point. Yes. But my other favorite, Natalie Portman, so gorgeous in gorgeous. Dior. This is just the best shimmer glitter I have seen all season. I mean, the season hasn't been that long, but <laughs> this is the one dress that I will remember forever, just because of the detailing. You know, that took a lot of people months to make. And she just looks so beautiful, elegant, sophisticated, mm -hmm. ponytail as to not overdo it. Just hands down my favorite. Now, do we think she's already being spring trend with florals? Spring for florals could well, be groundbreaking. To me, but... it reminded me of like a painting. Because like when I looked closely mm. at it, it's, it was actually stars. It's like tiny little stars. Oh, it it's, not, like flowers. it's not even flowers, it's stars. So then I was like, okay, she's not too early on the spring. Let's go to questionables. Let's talk about some of the questionables. Oh no. That deep <laughs> inhale. Melissa Rivers, unleash on the girls. Yeah. Let's talk about Roseman Pike in her uh, very questionable, unique, uh, to your dress. So Vogue loved this. I, this is a head scratcher okay. for me. First of all, the headpiece. Now there is supposedly a story yes. which she told that she had a ski accident. When she had it off inside, not a mark on her well, face. Well, she did say her face healed, but she still wanted to wear the headpiece. Yeah, so now we have <laughs> someone who got nervous about what am I doing, so I need an excuse. Right, <laughs> right. You know, I I didn't like it. I what? thought there was so much going on. There was just, where do you even look? 
Well, now I'm looking at the T length in that strap, which cuts yeah. her off so badly. I was going to ask you, what did you guys think about the shoes? I didn't, the shoes are what threw me off. I yes. felt like they're kind of clunky. And they're big old platforms. Again, I, I understand they need that so it's got proportion and balance. Mm -hmm. I just, mm. it, there's, it just doesn't work. It's not an ugly dress. It just doesn't work. Mm -hmm. And it's just so visceral to everybody. Oh God, well let's move on and talk about another visceral look. Um, Hannah Waddingham, who is just such a lovely actress, singer, performer, Ted Lasso. Her face, her energy is magnetic. That look of the lingerie, corset and boning. Melissa, what are your take on this Fredericks of Hollywood inspired glam? Well, and she's tall and can carry off major fashion. Mm -hmm. Right. This is what my mother would call trying to put the history of fashion on one dress. Mm. So we've got the sheer, we've got the high neck, we've got the appliques on the sleeves. We have the corset boning. We saw a lot of corset boning. And then we went back to sheer and a train. That's a lot. That's a lot. I was disappointed in this dress because I, I am too. such a fan of her yeah. and like all these specials and award shows we're doing like at the back is like mm -hmm. stunning. Yeah, you're right. She carries fashion yeah. very well and yeah. can yeah. do big gowns. She yeah. can do major, she can do the mm -hmm. she can do all that. Mm -hmm. But like I said, my mom would say, this is trying to be the history of fashion all in one dress. I see that. Well, thanks for teaching us the history, even though we didn't want it, Hannah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, uh, either iconic beauty or terrifying ghoul from the shadow, you be the judge. Uh, but that's how I feel about him, Jared Leto, who was, first of all, strange to me last night in his intro. I know he was sort of going for camp, but as often with him, I'm genuinely terrified of what he might do to me or someone else. I understand. <laughs> I'm at the point with Jared Leto that it's just a big giant eye roll. Mm. And I just feel it's so repetitive with him. It's all a variation on the same theme. And I don't get the gloves. But again, I'm just kind of... Over him. I want to see him do something dramatically mm -hmm. different. I want to see him come back... Be pleasant. No, well, <laughs> come back like Cary Grant, wearing the perfect, mm, we would polished. all lose yeah. our minds. Mm -hmm. You're right. If you yeah. stop trying to be so edgy and cool and give us sophistication, that would be really awesome. But again, he's been doing the same edgy and cool for so long that it doesn't feel edgy and cool. The only person who can wear these things, two people, Harry Styles mm -hmm. and Lenny Kravitz. Mm -hmm. Anyone else just stop. Stop, Jared. Oh, we have another shirtless wonder on the oh, runway. Deep sigh. <laughs> A deep sigh, Chris Preferetti from Abbott Elementary. Uh, uh, I, I will remember this look, is what I say. Do I, I like the memory? Is it a half-fond one? No, it is not. Again, poor tailoring on the pants. Mm. Poor tailoring, that I, break is rough. Yes. Yeah, apparently the big break is <laughs> in. Why? No. Why work. you're on a major hit show, you know? And someone else who went very edgy was like Pedro Pascal, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I, I didn't that. particularly like the turtleneck, but he obviously had to make a shift because his, his arm, arm is in a cast. He had, right. I guess, it was shoulder surgery yeah. or something. So you know what? I can live that and thank you for pepping it up a little. Mm -hmm. Again, like, why? I don't like it, and it looks like it's wearing him. Yeah. I don't feel like this is who he is. I feel like it washes him a little, too. And he could have used a spray tan, yeah. for yeah. sure. Some beard trimming and a spray tan, just a personal preference. But, but what about <laughs> the length of the jacket? Yeah, it's a bit... Yeah, maybe it's long. It's long. As a dress would have well, been I was say, <laughs> That was the old, famous Saint Laurent right. tuxedo dress. Right. Mm -hmm. But yes, it was. with pants, which is weird because no one's wearing <laughs> pants this season. So this really confuses me. So Peter, maybe take off your pants. We always miss our Joan Rivers on Thank the red you. carpet. I just love her so much as you do more than any of us on yes. this earth. <laughs> yes. You know, what do you think she would have thought of the carpet? I think the word streetwalker might have been used knowing her from Fashion Police. Yes, I think <laughs> she would have wanted more. More. Mm. More, even the ones that were elegant. More, more, more. 
And perhaps on few, on some a little bit less. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you guys have it. Give us more next time. You're at a black tie award show. Give us a little bit more, or Rosemond, much, much less. And the Oscars are coming, so. Yes, they are. We better see you back for them. Let's hope. Let's hope. Well, thank you so much, Robin, Melissa Rivers. Thank you for being our all black. Panel and helping us kick off this award season in the best way, and we can't wait to see what the rest of it brings. And we hope they do a little bit better next time. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.